We didn't grow up uh, with the sense that where we were was where we were going to be. You know, we grew up with the sense that where we were almost didn't matter because we it, were becoming it, we were becoming right. something greater. So <clears throat> it's Tuesday. 10.58 in the morning. Been up since about quarter to five. Woke to a missed call from uh, the, the guests in the house and a text message saying the alarms have been going off. So I got up and went over there and checked it out. Yeah, the alarm was sounding. Looks like they were cooking late. I don't know if that's anything to do with it. No sign of anything fiery or anything. So I just done whatever, came back, had some breakfast. Went back at the article for about an hour. Just really struggling with that one. It's really a geopolitical writing about Europe and how it is a, getting a little stronger and there's a little bit of a run on. Uh, the euro is gaining strength, the dollar is weakening at the moment. <coughs> and the reason behind that, and I mean, it's it goes into start talking about Turkey and Saudi Arabia and the petrodollar and Tiffin's paradox. And, uh, trying to work out what what my point is in writing about this stuff and reading about it and how that's going to be for a first time buyer it's it's got zero what's the connection for me it's like if i'd have been following this stuff pre the 2008 crash then there's no way i would have bought a property in late 2006 but i mean there's no way of knowing it's just like the movement of the tide you watch it coming and going until something happens and it's very this article in particular is is challenging and plus I've been writing like two or three the last two or three weeks. I think I wrote five last week maybe. I've done two or three over the weekend. And it's just, it's just a lot of the same stuff over and over because they're all economists and they're all speaking about the same thing. And I'm trying to figure out what I take from that. Perhaps um, I'm wasting my time with it. Perhaps should I just keep plugging on? I don't think people are going to relate to it. That's the issue then. It's too long term. What does the first time buyer care about? The euro going up a little bit, like they don't care a shit about that. They just want to make money from houses. Why do I give a shit about that? Uh, I do not know, but it is interesting. Obviously I have a lot of time on my hands at the moment, because the property is basically running itself. Checkouts you don't even have to do at the moment. Check in today, but the cleaners aren't coming up at six or seven o'clock this evening, so I've got another whole day. I've got zero backing finance wise. I've contacted a few people and thought I had some but it's not really working out which is going to be the issue. So should I just be going out and looking for more people to join venture with and just getting more properties would be the obvious course. The money is rolling, trickling in from the first property. I've just about got enough to pay the next month's rent. I've paid back one of the investors, one of the loaners, people that gave me a loan already. It's literally only been one month. The rent is coming in now, I'm gonna keep that and then over the next three weeks I hope to get back enough money to pay back the second investor. So that'll be like two months. So then it's just the money that I invested which is gonna take about another two months I'd imagine, maybe three for me to be completely clear. But I own the furniture and I have 2700 quid deposit invested in the property so that's all like savings or whatever so I mean yeah two or three months it won't be bad like as well as that I'll be taking my rent out of it and obviously food money and paying back the investor plus interest so I mean it's not bad it's just slow so whether I should be just out every day trying to find properties and then once I find the properties find the money perhaps and then there's the other side of it is there's a lot of heat coming on service accommodation at the moment so everybody is getting letters in the door of the councils telling them that they're not allowed to do it and stuff so london is a little bit tricky it's still there's a lot of success in it like but it's just a little gray area that you feel you don't know whether it's going to come crashing down it doesn't matter but it's just something to be aware of should i start taking on rent to rent properties where there's going to be like People moving in and out for six months, everybody's giving out about it because it's a lot less money and a lot more work. They're having a lot more hassle with tenants not leaving, smoking in properties because there's five or six different people living in the house. They're causing a lot of grief. So it's, 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 but again, property is the business that I'm meant to be going into, you know. So that's going to be part and parcel of it. Like the issue is as well, obviously, I was looking down in Bromley because the regulations are loose down there. So you can actually, the, the strategy works well, but it's a good hour away. So I now realize like, 
that I was lucky once I set up the service accommodation that my housemate had a car he wasn't using so I've had the use of that to go and get stuff but I mean if anything's happened in these houses when they're like an hour away I'm, and if my friend is trying to sell the car I just realise how limited I'm going to be access wise without transport although I can use the trains and that but it's just something to be aware of not major but and then there's obviously the KPI thing which is the whole like first time buyers which is a complete I've been doing bits and pieces in it like making ground every week but it's unproven it's untested and it's a completely different program or sphere or baby or business even to what I'm doing with the property even though it's property related but it's more like coaching first time buyers like it and uh, I don't know whether I should be focusing all my time on that as well I don't know got yesterday I managed to uh, get the uh, complete the one month of vlogs that I was behind so they're all ready to be posted I have to go down to central working later this evening for um, a meet up with Gail and giving them a loan of the room down there so uh, when I'm down there for two or three hours I'm going to post all the vlogs tonight so that means that I'm only like a week behind I have up until last Monday I think completed now so that's good <laughs>